Hi, this is Travis Hall with Splunk. I'm a solution engineer that supports public sector. Today, I'd like to cover a dashboard that I posted on GoSplunk. If you haven't seen GoSplunk before, I highly recommend checking this website out. It is a website built by Splunkers for Splunkers, and it's a repository of queries and dashboards that other people have put out there, and you're able to search and find you know, different ways to look at the data that may be in your environment. So I have posted a series of dashboards and searches on this website, and you can find it at gosplunk.com slash author slash thall. And here I'm going to talk about Windows Logon Dashboard. This is one of the dashboards I had built when I was a customer uh, supporting risk management framework in public sector. So what I would do to bring this dashboard into your environment is there is a copy feature right here. It's two little files. So I'm going to click on that. It'll highlight all the text, or if you just want to highlight all of the text inside of this box, you know, whatever works for you. I'm going to go back to my Splunk environment. And from here, you will need to decide which app or which location you want to put that dashboard in. I'm going to go ahead and put it in search and reporting. So once I bring up the search and reporting app, uh, I'm going to click on dashboards. And then from here, I'm going to create a new dashboard. And this is the easiest way I've found to you know, import somebody else's dashboard. So I'm going to give it a title. Let's call it Windows Logon. And you can put dashboard or view, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at that. And then if you want to change permissions to share it out to others in your group, in the app, globally, you know, I'll let you decide. I'm going to keep it private for right now. And I'm going to click Create Dashboard. So now I have a basic dashboard with not a lot going on here. So let's go in. And we're already in the Edit menu. I'm going to click on Source. And then I'm going to highlight the three lines here and replace it with what I had copied over from Go Splunk. Now one thing that you will have to do is make sure you know where your Windows event log, since this is a Windows event log dashboard, log on dashboard. So all of my index data is actually in Win event log. However, for today's purpose, I'm going to show you which spots to edit and how to do it, because I have bots data loaded on this environment. And if you have not heard of Splunk bots event, I would highly recommend you know, reaching out to someone at Splunk and getting more information. This is a competition, a capture the flag, and it's a lot of fun, especially if you're a security minded person. So within this dashboard, you'll have to find index equals, you know, win event log and replace it. You know, if you're all of your data is in win or windows, wherever index it's stored at. And you can, you know, control F and look for index equals win event log i will let you decide even if you want to copy all of the xml into a text document word word pad whatever notepad plus plus and you know find and replace but here i'm going to get this moved over box three and then i should have one more on this um dashboard before we can move forward, bots version three, and we're gonna hit the next button to ensure, uh, to save all my work, I'm gonna click save and refresh. And the reason why it needed to do the refresh is because I have this uh, inside of the, the source XML, it's in dark mode. So here I have three panels. Failed login events, successful, and privileged accounts. Each of these panels have a time range picker, so you can decide how far you want to go back. Uh, I do also include a filter box, so I can type in, uh, you know, a certain username, a you know keyword if I want to, to that will put itself in the base search. So if you have a host, you know, host equals X Y Z, you can put that here or if you know the username. So I'm going to go all time because this is bots data, which is demo data. And I will do that down here as well. 
give it a few seconds, and now I start getting uh, events populated in each one of these uh, panels. Uh, field selection box, this is a static box, so I have static you know, fields that I can put in to each one of these panels to give myself more information. Here I've selected them all. Uh, you can resize your screen to you know, adjust so you can see all of this information. And if you want, you can export this data into a CSV file, XML, JSON, you know, whatever you would like. Take a screenshot to be able to provide your documentation team if you are in public sector for you know, RMF controls. Hopefully you find this uh, video useful and happy splunking.